This is Justin Tang's homework six question three second video. As you can see, we are revisiting the data generation script to process Raspberry Pi images captured during my on-campus scan of my target, the Leroy Merritt statue. As you can see, we are still invoking colorpicker.py to determine threshold values and taking these HSV values and putting them into the data generation script. Again, we are using the same row RPC and separation values as well as the same angle offset constant as with the household scan. Again, we are using the glob function in order to read all of the files from the appropriate folder. And we are writing all of the XYZ data, which is calculated later in the script, to a text file in one folder above. Here we are doing the angle processing in the for loop that reads the file names. And here we do some pre-processing of the image with Gaussian blurring and an HSV mask. Here again is the main for loop that produces the range values and the XYZ coordinates which are written into the text file. Here we use the MATLAB script 3D point cloud to process the text file produced in the data generation script. We use functions from the computer vision MATLAB toolbox and we also set our axes to certain range values because of the noise from far out, uh, far out lights that were collected during the scan. Here is the 3D point cloud of the scan of my target. Recall that the Leroy Merritt statue has a torso, legs, a, a legs, a torso, and a chest that protrudes outward. Also recall that the statue somewhat curves to the side and then back to the middle in its stance. As you can see, the torso region rendered in quite well. We were able to capture even the legs, as you can see towards the bottom, we can see some of the cylindrical surfaces. Also, you can see the curve of the torso. Unfortunately, the head region was not rendered in very well because of the various different uh, shadows and curves that are produced um, around the head and neck region. As we rotate to the side, you can see that the 3D point cloud is in fact protruding outwards just as the Leroy Merritt statue's chest was also protruding outwards. For the next scan I plan to include the pedestal and try to use some, uh, some techniques such as long exposure in the Raspberry Pi camera in order to obtain better data.